Hi, my name is Dr. Markus Roggen. I'm a cannabis chemist and I'm here to answer your internet asked questions. Why is there water in a bong? So, in a bong, you smoke the cannabis or you burn the cannabis and you inhale it bubbling through water. Uh, the water will cool the smoke. So what you inhale doesn't burn your mouth and lung. Uh, the water will capture a few compounds from the smoke so it cleans it. What is the best liquid to put in a bong? Is milk better than water? Actually a good question. So here we have a bong for demonstration purposes with everything in it still. So um, as we discussed earlier, a bong has water to cool the smoke and extract or remove certain compounds or some compounds from the smoke that you therefore don't inhale. So now comes the question, what liquid would be best? The cooling effect isn't really affected by the liquid you choose, it's more by the temperature of the liquid. What compounds are removed? So it is important to understand that THC and the other cannabinoids are not water soluble. So they wouldn't automatically be dissolved in water. But they are fat soluble. And milk, as long as it's not skimmed milk, is water and fat and an emulsion. So those aspects of milk will therefore be very good to dissolve THC and other cannabinoids. So if you'd use milk, the smoking might not be as great, but drinking the liquid afterwards might be quite some fun. So if you use a flavored liquid, uh, you can impart that flavor into the smoke. So maybe rose water would give some interesting bouquet to your cannabis consumption next time. And then depending on which liquid you use, you might retain more cannabinoids in the liquid, so the drinking afterwards might be fun. While I find this a really weird idea, um, it might be something to try. Next question. Does your weed change flavors when you are smoking it or is it just me? Well, first, that was not me misreading it. That's the grammar it is on the screen. Second, there's a logical mistake. Changing from what? Right? You need two things at least to compare to discuss a change. Um, but let's try to pick this apart. Um, I assume, or one could assume, that there's a change of flavor on the same cannabis um, over a time period. So maybe the person bought it in week one, smoked it then, had it sit for a month and then smoked the rest and the flavor changed. And that can actually happen. Uh, so the flavor is uh, to a large uh, degree dictated by terpenes that are in the cannabis plant. And terpenes are very volatile compounds, so they will evaporate over time. Uh, so you could think the flavor weakens, and that is an effect. But different terpenes actually evaporate at different rates. And as the mixture of terpenes make the flavor, the terpene profile changes and therefore the flavor profile change. While it overall should weaken, there might be a shift in flavor profile too. And then the last part, and that is um, research that we are slowly getting into in my lab. Um, from tobacco smoke, we know that starch in the leaf, tobacco leaves are broken down to sugar and these sugar molecules also impart flavor. So what I actually think is one important part of curing the cannabis plant is the breakdown of starch to sugar. So maybe you had it that long sitting around and cured that well that you turned more starch into sugar and you had a sweeter, a sweeter taste. Um, let me know. Do weed stems get you high? 
Um, not really. Uh, the cannabis plant expresses the cannabinoids, THC and others, in its flower. So in these flower buds. And uh, the stem doesn't see a high concentration of cannabinoids. So consuming the stems would not make you high. Or you have to consume a lot of stems very, very fast. And are you that desperate? Cannabis isn't that expensive nowadays. How do I assert my weed smoking dominance as the new roommate? I think cannabis is more comparable to a good wine and not to a vodka drinking fest who stands the longest. So if you want to assert your dominance, tell them about your favorite strain and how you can smell and taste almond and chocolate in it. I find wine people so weird. And some of the cannabis connoisseurs as well. And if you want to leave that on, that's fine. Okay, next one. Okay, <laughs> oh God, why? Should I hit the gravity bong for breakfast? No, it's not breakfast. No. Thanks for watching. If you have any more questions, post them. I will look for them. I will find them and I will answer them.